All right, how's it going everybody? It's Polo back at it again with another unique beat video. So today my goal by the end of the video is to have made a beat that consists of only sounds that are terrible to the human ear. In fact, the 11 worst sounds to our ears according to this article I've pulled up. I've improved my audio setup from the last time I made a video like this, which was the 808 beat video, which if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. The link will be in the description. But yeah, so this time the audio from my computer will be playing straight into the video and not from my speakers into my microphone. Basically how you'd expect it to be, so you'll hear it when it plays. Just before I get started, I gotta give a quick shout out to my friend who gave me this idea. He knows who he is if he's watching this, but shout out to him because otherwise I wouldn't have thought of this because I'm trying to think really hard of unique ideas, like things I haven't seen done on YouTube by anyone else. And that takes time so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments and I'll consider doing them so without further ado let's get going and listen to the 11 worst sounds to the human ear and number one we've got vomiting all right yep we're off to a great start here still going yeah all right so that's really just a minute of a guy vomiting or fake vomiting regardless I'm glad I heard that I guess so number two is microphone feedback Yep. Yeah, it's not the best sound. You really don't want to hear that sound ever because it means you're probably going to lose your hearing if you don't stop it soon. Now you know how Kanye made his song feedback though, so you learn something every day. Number three is a baby crying. Oh geez, we have this miserable looking creature. Let's listen. Ah, poor guy. All right, that's that. Number four is a train scraping on tracks. What the? No way that's an actual sound. That's like distorted. That must have been recorded with a potato or something. That sound is terrible. Bruh, all right, whatever. I'll use it. Number five is a squeaky wheel that needs some grease. So I just went ahead and found where it started. All right, well, that's really not that bad to me. Maybe to somebody else, maybe one of you guys, but it doesn't hurt my ears or anything, but we'll use it. Number six is a poorly played violin. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Ouch. All right, yeah, I mean, it's a worthy attempt. You know, some of the notes aren't quite there, but, uh, you know, I applaud the effort. Number seven is flatulence. Oh, all right, so I guess this isn't real flatulence, but hey, I love a good whoopee cushion just as much as the next guy, so let's have a listen. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Just as I expected. Yeah. I mean, comedy gold right here. There's no doubting that. It's just pure gold. If I'm being honest with myself, I might as well say that's like a top 10 video of all time. I mean, I really enjoyed that. Number eight is people arguing. All right, well, I mean, I guess somebody really uploaded audio of their parents arguing onto YouTube, but I mean, it's, it's an evil, evil world, world we live in for sure. In. Number nine, we've got the mains hum. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. I just can't hear that in a song. That's probably just going to ruin a song, but maybe I can use that as sort of an effect. Number 10 is person chewing food with an open mouth. All right. Hello. Okay, this is a little uncomfortable. You know, I'm uncomfortable. Maybe you are too, but that's kind of the point of the sounds. But the visuals are really making me uncomfortable, not just the sound. And for the very last one here, we've got fingernails on a chalkboard. All right, now I already know this one's about to suck. Oh yeah. Yep, uh, I haven't heard that sound in so long because it's been a while since elementary school, but you know, the memories are coming back. All right, so that right there concludes all the sounds. So I'm gonna get going with the beat. All right, so I've gone ahead and pulled all the audio into Logic and so I'm going to see the sound. Sorry. 
sorry about that what i'm gonna do is sequence all the audio make sure i can give each one a roll you know find something for the melody find something for the drums maybe bass so i think the first thing i'm gonna do is go over to the violin and try to pick out a single note from that because that's the most melodic thing we have right now so let's see what we can do with that So I've just gone ahead, isolated a specific note, tuned it to C, and then loaded it up in Alchemy so I can play it as a playable instrument, as you can hear here. So now any note I press will be that single one shot I pulled out and be tuned to that exact note. So it allows me to play it perfectly as an instrument. I'm thinking the best thing to do would be to make something along the lines of an industrial beat because there's a lot of weird, quirky sounds, as you could say, even though I've never made anything that I would consider an industrial beat. I think I could pull it off. So I just came up with this little riff here, I'll record it. So that's it, let me quantize it. Yeah, I think I could turn that into something cool for sure. So maybe I can take the feedback or the mains hum for sort of a bass line if I pitch it down. Let me let me compare the two. So I could use that if I wanted to go for a distorted bass. I'll try out the feedback and see if I could pitch that down to sound any good. So I actually ended up liking the feedback sound for the bass better, so I went ahead and did the same thing, uh, made it a playable instrument. I like it. We've got sort of a sinister evil vibe going on, and I do think I'm going to stick to an emphasis on percussion. This is probably all I'll do for melodies. I might vary the melodies as it goes on, maybe switch up the pattern or add a new note somewhere in there, but these are probably the only two melodic instruments I'll put in. So I'm thinking maybe I want to go through and find like a nice vomit sound. <laughs> not like a nice vomit sound, not like nice to the ears, but like a sound that I can use as sort of like a vocal one shot at the start of every couple measures. Alright, so maybe I can shorten the length of this one, kind of have it play maybe every eight or four measures. Let's see. perfect honestly i'm actually genuinely satisfied by that that turned out pretty good so that's it for the vomit i'm very grateful i don't have to listen to that anymore all right so the next idea that just came to me is potentially using flatulent sounds for like a kick i could pitch it down you know eq it distort it get everything i need to get it to sound like a kick all right this one right here i can't lie sounds like a great kick sample so let's see if it can be a good contender All right, so I shortened it and EQ'd it to this shape. As you can hear, it's very quiet, but I'll try to fix that with distortion. All right, so these are all the plugins I added. It took a lot of tweaking, as you can see, but I think I'm satisfied with how it turned out. Don't mind the clipping, I'll fix that at the end. And here's how it sounds. Also, I just realized the vomit one shot sounds sort of like a Minecraft zombie. So I've got this four bar loop I just made here, so have a listen. I think it can be better. I want to use the nails on a chalkboard as sort of like a scratching perk, but the problem is so many of these audios are clipping that it just, you can hear the distortion in the files, so it just ruins it like that. That's kind of hard to clean up. So I've got the nails on a chalkboard as a playable instrument. I'm going to record a quick pattern for that. I just went through and took the parents arguing audio and kind of used it as the intro I've set up here so it'll come in over time and kind of fluctuate with the sounds of the song. But I'm gonna stop playing it so you don't get spoiled as the track comes together towards a final form. So I like this part of the baby crying, this little noise he makes. I'm thinking that's gotta be used for another vocal one shot, but I won't use just that for the baby crying. I wanna make sure I actually use a cry so I don't disappoint anybody. 
This right here is a pretty good cry. I'm not the best judge of cries, but this is a good one. <coughs> Fairly consistent. I mean, it's got all the qualities of a good cry. So let's toss that in there somewhere. All right, so what I think this is missing is the bounce of a good hi-hat. Maybe I'll use like a good chew that somebody does in this open mouth chewing audio and can condense that to a hi-hat. So I found these perfect clicks from the mouth chewing audio. Honestly, these sort of could double as like claps. They almost sound like claps the way they're hitting. I wonder if I can do rolls with these. I can, that's so sick. So I just listened through and cut this selection out from the squeaky wheel video. I think it'd be perfect for a effect that kind of goes in and out like I described earlier and therefore hopefully industrial like my initial vision was. <laughs> So I've put that baby cry I took out earlier here like this. And I'm going to add some reverb to give it more space and not just be all up in your face. And that's a bar right there. So now the only two sounds I don't have are the train scraping and the mains hum. But my plan is to first mix the beat, arrange it, and then while doing that, figure out ways to make these sounds kind of fade in and out at random times, just coming in and surprising you and just contributing to the character of the track. So I'm gonna get going with that and I'll be back when it's all finished and ready to hear. All right, so at long last, here's the complete beat all arranged and ready to go. The whole beat is a buildup with the percussion intensifying as it goes and then it eventually drops out to where maybe you can put some vocals because before that, I feel like it's too crowded to put in vocals just because of what the instrumental is doing. Also, don't forget that every sound you hear is supposed to be one of the worst sounds to the human ear in the world. So hopefully I made it sound decent and doesn't make you cringe because of the pain the sound might cause. The only sound in this beat that is not one of those sounds is my tag and that's it everything else is from that article one of the worst sounds but yeah without further ado i'll just let you listen and uh, enjoy And that was the beat. I hope I achieved sort of industrial feel like I initially set out to do. I think it's a little unique and different than what I've done before. I did the best with the tools I had at my disposal and some sounds are rough like the kick, but honestly, I had so many plugins on it, I couldn't make it sound any better. So let me know what you thought about it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what I could have done better. Again, shout out to my friend for giving me this idea. And if you have any ideas yourself, please leave me a comment and I'll consider doing it. But that's all from me for now. Until next time, Polo out.